The really exciting part about GIS is that it's so new and it has so many widespread applications. When I took my courses at Cuyahoga, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. You have the great instructors with the great equipment. The technology that's accessible to these kids is wonderful. It's a good feeling to know that I'm working on something this important. GIS is a new way to look at our world by turning complex information into clear visual images. GIS is Geographic Information Systems. GIS is the art and science of using satellite images and specialized software to map, analyze, and plan for a changing planet. GIS is already a part of your daily life. Whenever you download a map and driving directions, or check the weather forecast, or use your car's onboard navigation system, you're using GIS applications. Most county governments, city governments have their own GIS department. Real estate planning and development. We use GIS almost every day actually when we do our building surveys. We use it in the reconstruction of accidents. I believe that GIS can be applied in just about any industry out there today. GIS is becoming an important economic tool for businesses and government. There's companies right now that are just starting to implement GIS. They're finding out it's very cost effective. Even in farming, wineries, and other agribusinesses, GIS is reaping benefits. Now using GPS and using GIS technology, they can test the soils and see exactly where they have to fertilize and exactly what they have to do. And so it saves themselves a lot of money and time. One of the projects that I've worked on is a market penetration study, and that shows basically city block by city block where our customers are, so that we can look at an area that has maybe a low concentration and go out and knock on doors and do sales. I have 6,000 home deliveries that I supervise. I have 18 carriers. Some of the routes are up to 100 miles long. In the past, we would take a street map and just highlight on the map where the route was. With GIS, I can have a dynamic map with a couple of clicks of the mouse. It'll tell me how far I've driven. It'll tell me how long it takes to do it. Using GIS in the newspaper industry, there are so many applications. It's all in how you view what GIS is. There's a lot of jobs out there for people who know how to use GIS. Uh, people who come through Cayuga and have a GIS background, they have a wealth of information to add to the fire service and what we do every day. Pretty much you can tailor GIS to anything that you want. So if you decide that you like the sciences, um, you can tailor it to the sciences. If you decide you like business, you can tailor GIS to business. With that hard work to get your degree, it really pays off in the long run because you'll start at a higher rate and you will advance more quickly. With this training, and in some cases further study to complete a bachelor's degree, exciting new careers are open to you. Where can you start? At Cayuga Community College, educating over 3,000 students at Central New York campuses in the cities of Auburn and Fulton. So wherever number it's going to pop up on the bottom left. Cayuga's Geographic Information Systems program takes a hands-on approach to its curriculum, offering a balance of GIS and liberal arts courses. And it's a little more personalized than at a bigger school, too. You've still only got 30 kids instead of 150 kids in your class. The instructors will get to know your face and know you by your first name. Students learn satellite imaging, remote sensing, the Global Positioning System, or GPS, and how to put it all together. Yeah, we are collecting uh, GPS data along the nature trail and this little receiver actually tracking the satellite that about 20,000 kilometer high and it need to track at least four satellites to give us a location on this earth. And according to this receiver, that location is about within 20 feet of its true location. It is amazing. The associate's degree from Cayuga can prepare you for entry-level work in GIS. For even more career options, you can transfer into a four-year college or university and major in GIS, environmental science, geography, even history, business, or political science. This is the perfect place to go for a two-year program. If you transfer from CCC to a four-year school, most of the classes that you transfer are actually going to be higher level classes at the four-year school because what you get here is actually experience with GIS programs. I've been wanting to do a dual degree in engineering and GIS. The pattern in which you'll do your search, it's, that's a critical component 
of any crime scene. Even students who major in other areas at Cayuga, such as science or criminal justice, are encouraged to take electives in GIS for additional high-tech credentials. I got a scholarship for CCC to actually come here and do a GIS and criminal justice, which I was also very interested in. Cayuga is the only community college whose GIS program has ties to an on-campus, NASA-sponsored institute. The Institute for the Application of Geospatial Technology develops new ways of using GIS. The IAGT's innovative solutions help people both locally and globally, from supplying soil data for the Finger Lakes vineyard industry to helping emergency planners after the 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Center. The college would be fed information from the scene. They were printed up in large maps, and then we would facilitate getting them down to Pier 19. So it was real-time data, real-time collection for fire damage, uh, threat assessment, structural assessment. Having the Institute on campus also affords some of Cayuga's GIS students internship opportunities, and for some, jobs after graduation. Uh, right now, the Institute has me working on the EarthScope project which entails tracking the crustal deformation of the North American continent. It's going to be open source data that can be used by everyday scientists. Is there a career in GIS for you? If you're looking for a way to use high-tech skills to solve real-world problems, then explore GIS at Cayuga Community College. To find out more, call the Cayuga Community College Admissions Office at 315-255-1743 email gisadmissions at cayuga-cc.edu or go to our website at www.cayuga-cc.edu. GIS at Cayuga. Map the world. Map your future.